Let's face it, professional figure boards are pretty expensive. And the reality is when some people see those prices, they feel priced out of the hobby. But what if I told you I paid a fraction of the cost for this full fingerboard and all the other accessories in this video? With a ton of side-wide savings and everything up to 90% off, if I'm boarding on a budget, I'm shopping at Timu. Now, this wouldn't be the first time I've shopped at Timu for my fingerboard stuff. I've actually ordered from there a few times and have never had any issues. Well, to be fair, I did have a package come two days late one time. But anytime you have a late package from Timu, they'll credit you five bucks, just for the inconvenience. And anytime you're shopping online, you always want to practice safe shopping. You can do so by researching the sites you're shopping on and use third-party vendors for your payments like Apple Pay and PayPal. And lastly, to stay safe while shopping online, if the website you're using has an official app, make sure to download that. In this case, we're talking about Timu, so you can download the official Timu app using the link in the description of this video. And lastly, if you do end up picking up any of this stuff, you can actually use this link right here to save even more cash and so you don't miss out on any perks during shopping and checkout. Now, the issue with a lot of these sites is that there's so much to choose from. Now, this could very easily make finding quality stuff pretty difficult. So I kind of figured I'll be the guinea pig. Like I'll just get a bunch of stuff and if it's good, I'll tell you. And if it's trash, I'll tell you. So we're starting off with a 34 millimeter professional five layer wood grain maple deck. I don't know why, but I didn't expect this deck to come with a grip tape. So that was kind of a nice surprise. Now let's definitely know that tape. If you know, you know, but I mean, it's tape nonetheless. I mean, for $8 and 48 cents, it's not the worst deck in the world. The countersink seemed pretty nice. It's rounded on all sides and the hole seemed pretty straight. And for scientific reasons, it gave it the old bend test and it seems solid. Now the kicks on this board are super high and the concave is super wild. I kind of wish there was a more mellow option, but for eight bucks, you get what you get. Based on looks alone and based on the price, I'm gonna give this thing a seven out of 10. Now, if you fingerboard, you probably know that proper grip tape on your setup can easily make or break it. So when I saw you can get five pieces of grip tape for $2.50, I'm kind of intrigued. Now, I was pretty hyped to see they actually sent five pieces, so that's a plus. But I gotta say, this grip tape is super slick and not slick like cool like the Fawn slick. I mean, he's not that cool, but you know what I mean. I'm talking slick as in not grippy, which is a huge problem considering we're talking about grip tape. Now, given the fact this tape is so affordable, but it's not that grippy, I gotta give this a solid three out of 10. Next up, we're checking out some swirl wheels. Now the red, white, and black is definitely giving me Pokemon vibes, so that's a plus. But now that they're in hand, I can tell that they're plastic wheels, and that's like the opposite of a plus in my book. I mean, don't get me wrong, $12.48 isn't bad for fingerboard wheels, but at the same time, for plastic fingerboard wheels, I feel like this is really just paying for the swirl. Having said all that, I am a sucker for a street shape wheel, and this is giving street shape vibes, so I do like the size and shape. And I gotta say, for being plastic, Plastic, the material feels actually pretty nice on the skin. Well, that sounds weird, but like in my hand or whatever. And out of the bag, honestly, the swirls look even better. I gotta admit, I'm not really a swirl kind of guy, more like a white wool kind of guy, but these swirls are actually giving Pokemon and I just love it. These are actually pretty sick. Now this next piece, I can't lie, I'm super hyped for. And if you know me and you know my fingerboarding, you know I'm a ledge kind of guy, so I honestly love ledges and this is a marble ledge and I hope it's sick. And this might be jumping the gun, but I'm gonna give this thing a 10 out of 10 right out of the box because it's super smooth, it looks super clean and it's just small enough to fit in your pocket and take on the go. For $13.48, I'm gonna say this is the definite must cop. I mean, it is small, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely like an on the go piece. Okay, maybe a 9.5 out of 10. You should have put some non-sliders on this thing. I mean, I could do it now that I have like extra grip, but I'm just saying you should have put some non-sliders. But seriously, this thing feels quality. It definitely has some weight to it. I'm so hyped to sesh this thing. Okay, quick pause, we gotta get some tricks. And again, I gotta admit, 10 out of 10. Honestly, this thing is so fun. I'm a sucker for ledges, so yes, 10 out of 10, I love this thing. Now let's talk about small parts. Because let's face it, as fingerboarders, we're all working with small parts. Well, you know what I mean, like nuts and bolts and stuff. Now on Timu's website, this thing is sold as a pill case. But if you fingerboard, you probably know that this small part case is a workhorse. It is small, it is compact, but super roomy on the inside. And for $1.98, this thing is honestly 10 out of 10. And I, to be honest with you, I have one, so I, I can tell you it's awesome. And it comes in a bunch of different colors. Now, when it comes to my small parts, this case is perfect, but maybe your small parts need more room. And if that's true, this double-sided fishing tackle box waterproof thing, th this is probably for you. Now this thing comes in three sizes, small, medium, large. This is the medium size and for under seven bucks, this is kind of sick. I mean, this side alone could easily hold like eight pairs of trucks. Now, if we're being honest, the spring-loaded doors and the waterproof aspect of this thing might seem over the top, but again, for seven, eight bucks, I mean, this thing is solid. We're going solid nine out of 10. Now, Timu, you have some explaining to do. Well, to be fair, maybe I have some explaining to do because fingerboard shoes are kind of meh, but I ordered some anyway, so whatever. Okay, but here's the deal. I think these shoes are sold out, so I couldn't find the posting, but when I ordered these, I'm pretty sure you said shoes, not shoe. Because $2.50 for one shoe, I, it's not really the move. Yo, Loki kind of sad, because once I got the first shoe on, I, I kind of liked them. It, it felt 
kind of cool to be wearing finger shoes anyways, but you know, whatever. I did. We, they should be sold as a pair. Come on. Now I'm just going to go on record and say it. 10 out of 10, your fingers hate you. If you've ever tried to put screws into a fingerboard and use a tiny screwdriver, but those days are over because realistically you could pick up this five in one screwdriver for $2, seriously two bucks. And this is honestly nine out of 10. Only thing that can make this a 10 out of 10 is if there was an attachment for the nuts. But I digress. And it comes in a bunch of colors. So this is like a win-win. Now, aside from the ledge, I was most hyped for these trucks too, because let's face it, finding quality trucks at an affordable price is not the easiest thing in the world. I'm already impressed. They sent eight black screws, which is awesome because you typically get silver and they sent four lock nuts, which is sick. My biggest fear when ordering budget trucks is that they don't come with lock nuts because then your wheels are just going to be flying off and then it's pointless. So at the moment, I'm going to rate these things a solid 7.5 out of 10 based on the way they look, not on the way they perform because I don't know how they perform, that'll be for another video. Now let's shift gears over to fingerboard obstacles. If we're talking about grind rails, you're looking at about 25 to 30 bucks. But if you're going DIY and you're setting a drawer handle, we're talking like 10 bucks. Only issue is that you can't really find stands for those things. So when I saw on Teemu that you can get a professional drawer handle, or in this case, a, a round rod or whatever that is, and it comes with stands and a screwdriver, I honestly, I was intrigued. I, eight bucks? I'm all in. Now, for the most part, I'm a slacker. So some assembly required kind of means it's a deal breaker for me. But in this case, the rail was super easy to put together. And again, the fact that you get a little screwdriver to put it together is a super plus. And I actually don't know what a super plus is, but I don't want to go back and re-record that part. So we're just going to roll with it. Now, I didn't realize this at the time, but you can actually pick between a round rail or a square rail. I should have went with square, but you know, it, life, you know. So all in all, nine out of 10. Now in the fingerboard community, there are those who fingerboard rack and those who do not fingerboard rack. Normally, I'm like not a fingerboard rack kind of guy. But this this video isn't about me and what I like, this is about you and trying out stuff that you may like. So having said that, for this video, I'm a board rack kind of guy. If there's one thing I gotta say, for this being plastic, this thing is pretty solid. I mean, taking it out of the bag, it doesn't feel like it's gonna be super sturdy, but once you get it all together, it's actually pretty sturdy. You know, there was something about the way this thing clicked together that was actually super satisfying. It was it was oddly, like, super sick. And I, oh, and, and there's like this little basket. Now, me, myself, I don't own any board racks, so they may all come with those little basket things, but maybe they don't, and this one's just super sick. I mean, honestly, for eight bucks, I would probably buy this again. Now you can load this thing up with five full-size fingerboards. These are all 34 millimeter setups and they fit perfect. The only downside is I'm not super crazy about the clear plastic. I wish it came in like a black or something like that, or maybe even a red or a blue, but you know, for eight bucks, you get what you get. Overall, this is a solid nine out of 10. And closing out this Timu haul, we have a plastic fingerboard obstacle. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not crazy about plastic fingerboard obstacles or boxes that come ripped, but again, for like 10 bucks, you kind of get what you get. Wait, hold on, scratch that. I was just informed this is actually $6.99. So again, you get what you get. Okay, starting off solid with a nice little 26 millimeter fingerboard. I didn't even realize that was gonna be in there. So that's definitely a plus. Aside from the $6 price tag, what really sold me on this obstacle was the layout. It's kind of like if a kicker and a bank had a baby with a plastic ramp manufacturer and then they all came together and made this. And judging by the little grooves on the side, chances are you can buy the other ones in the set and complete it to make like a little skate park. And again, I'm not really crazy about plastic ramps, but I gotta be honest with you, the texture of this one kind of feels oddly satisfying under the wheels. Now, this also did not come with non-sliders, so we gotta fix that before we session. Because right now, this thing's about ready to slide into your girl's DMs. We're gonna take another sheet of our 3 out of 10 grip tape, we're gonna stick it to the bottom, and now, in true dad fashion, I'm gonna tap this thing and say, yeah, that thing ain't going anywhere. And just like that, we're ready to sesh. And do me a favor, don't ask me why I chose to sesh this thing switch most of the time, because I, I don't have switch like that. The truth is, I just didn't want to move my tripod. But anyways, I'm gonna give this thing a solid 8.5 out of 10, because I'm gonna be honest with you, it was fun to sesh. I don't like that it's plastic. Plastic. I don't love that it's plastic, but honestly, it was fun. You don't really see too many obstacles in this like layout of the kicker bank thing, and honestly, it was fun. You know, I actually ended up putting the wheels, trucks, and grip tape together with that deck that I bought. And honestly, if you want to hear my thoughts on that, let me know. I can do a full video on like a professional fingerboard from Timu. Um, if you want to see that video, let me know in the comments below and we can make it happen. And a huge shout out to the people over at Timu for sending me this stuff to check out for you guys. And if by chance down the line you find something on Timu that you're thinking about picking up for your fingerboard collection, let me know if you're unsure and i'll pick it up myself test it out let you know what i think and give you my honest opinion as always thanks so much for watching the video to the end if you or some of you know are boarding on a budget send them this video i'd love for them to see and take advantage of these awesome deals because let's face it fingerboarding is for everyone regardless of how much money is in your bank account and i know we got a little preview earlier but now we got to know do these obstacles actually shred and let's find out right now